everyone, welcome to Study Guide Forum. Today we'll be we continue our revision on a uh, chemistry practical for the SSE private. So here we have a question. This question says that we have a, a sample of a sort. Actually, it will be in the description of this uh, video. Every other details will be in the description of the video. So let's just quickly look at what we have here. Uh, in this test, we have a sort. It's the sort. This is a see. It's a a mixture of it's a mixture of an inorganic salt and and a compound, an organic compound. A mixture of inorganic salt and a an organic compound. And this test we are carried out. So we are asked to complete it on, just like every other uh, alternative to practical chemistry. We are asked to. They always they will always give you incomplete experiment and ask you to fill up the gap. So just like here, what we have here, we are asked to fill it up. Now, in this experiment, C plus 10 cm cube of water, distilled water, stir and filter, so that C partially dissolve to give colorless filtrate and a white residue. Now, what it means here, it shall, it, since it's partially um, soluble, what we have here, C is a, is a, a mixture. A mixture of soluble, soluble and air, and insoluble compound. It's a mixture of a soluble and insoluble compound. That's what it means. That's why we have a partial, um, is partially dissolved. Now we say again. The other one is a filtrate plus litmus paper, so that there is what is neutral. In the inference, it had neutral um, to filter paper. Um, uh, sorry, neutral, neutral filtrates. That is, the filtrate is what neutral to litmus paper. What it means here, we can say no visible reaction. No visible reaction, meaning that the red and lit red and and blue litmus paper remain unchanged. So the next one here, we look at here, say that first portion of the filtrates plus silver nitrate and then um, hydro um, nitrate, nitrate 5 acid and then ammonia plus ammonia. So what we, ha what we have here, say that in the inference we have chlorine confirmed. Now what you need to find out, what they want us to find out here is the observation that will make us confirm this chlorine. So the observation that will make help us to confirm the chlorine means that if it's precise is chlorine, the observation we should have here will be with silver nitrate to have white precipitate, white precipitate by adding silver nitrate, white precipitate PPT, hmm? the PPT precipitates PPT insoluble, insoluble in Silver nitrate, silver nitrates, and then the precipitate PPT is also soluble, soluble in sorry, in aqueous ammonia, soluble in aqueous ammonia. So that confirms the presence of what a chloride, chloride ion. Now the next one will go ahead. To look at the second, we see that second portion of the filtrate. This is the first portion of the filtrate. Second portion of the pre filtrate. What we have there is a plus sodium hydroxide in drop. Then in excess, what we have is white gelatinous precipitate and precipitate soluble. Now, in a when we have this kind of observation, there are two um, ions that can give us this kind of observation. Number one is zinc ion, and then aluminium. Ion likely present, likely present because we don't know the real one, the exact one. Now, again, we'll come back to this place, press the soluble, meaning that also what we have there is zinc ion and also uh, aluminium ion. That's for the boot or boot observation, likely what. Present. So for both of them, zinc, ion, and aluminium ion can give us that. So let's continue with the um, analysis. Okay, to the um, third portion, to the third portion now we have a 
um, first portion of the free threads, we add aqueous ammonia in drop, then in excess. Our observation is um, white gelatinous precipitates and then precipitates soluble. Now, with aqueous ammonia, one, the, uh, the ions that can give us white precipitates, white precipitate, white gelatinous precipitate with aqueous ammonia is still um, zinc ion, aluminium ion, and then zinc, zinc, zinc ion to likely or present, likely present. These are the two ions that can give us that. But a uh, precipitate soluble. If the precipitate is soluble, it means that what you have there is what zinc ion confirmed. Confirmed because um, zinc ion will only be soluble, while aluminium will not will not be soluble. So uh, we'll go over to the next one. This one portion of the residue in the residue plus iodine we have starch. What we have here, since we have starch, our observation that will tell us that the starch is what we our observation will be blue. We have blue, black. Color, blue black color that will confirm the presence of what starch because iodine will give us iodine in starch will give us blue black color confirming that uh, starch is what present. Now, the next portion of it uh, in the observation we have a up, um, the portion of that in plus hydrochloric acid boil cool and then add iodine solution instead of starch hydrolyzed. So, what will happen here now? Since we have starch here, when you heat starch with hydrochloric acid, when you heat starch with hydrochloric acid, it will undergo hydro, hy hydrolysis. The, in this hydrolysis, it will no more show any sign, any indication with uh, any reaction with iodine. That is what we are supposed to have here to confirm the presence of this uh, hydrolysis that has happened here, means that we will have uh, um, no iodine. This uh, I will talk about the iodine now. I am. Um, how do I put okay? What I will say here, since it's iodine, that iodine will add with the color. Um, I can say the color, the color of the iodine remain the same. The same, or you can say that no change in color of iodine. I will say okay, no change, no change in color of iodine, no change in color of iodine. At least any of them can still confirm the frame because uh, when you add it, iodine will remain, the color will remain, there will no change, unlike what we have here because it ha is no more starch, it has, it has undergo hydrolysis to give us uh, uh, sugar. That is, it could be a fruit, or, um, it, should, it could be um, glucose, two glucose or whatever, or so, uh, monosaccharide or disaccharide that will not show any indication with this. Thank you so much. And before I go, the question also say that you should indicate, you should also state the possible compound that is involved in the, uh, the two mixtures we have there. From whatever we have seen here, the two mixtures that are involved uh, in this experiment, you can the C con C contains C is equal to C is equal to zinc chloride. Zinc chloride is what we have in zinc in, in C, and then and starch. That's the last question. The last question there said that we should um, identify the compound involved. This will be this uh, letter. So this is what we have the mixture is so zinc chloride and uh, starch. Thank you so much for coming this far. Um, um, remember to share, like, and if you have any question, you can leave it in the comment section. Now I want you to subscribe if you have not subscribed. Thank you so much.